Welcome to Anything But with Kumar De Silva. My guest on the show is Menaka De Fonseca Sahabandu, and um, this show is sponsored by LICC Jeans. Menaka, we'd like to start and first go back to uh, Visaka Vidyalaya, where your mother was a student and you were a student. What was life like in school? Wow, it was really nice. In life in school was a lot of fun, and I wish I could go back to those times again. Boy, you were a nice girl, a good girl, a naughty girl, or what, or you know, goody goody, or what? Yes, I was a nice girl. Yes, nice girl. How boring, man! <laughs> How dare you say? So being nice is being boring, okay? Um. Yes, but we used to have our little naughty things, you know, like um, the being out of class uh, during class time okay. and uh, going to the tuck shop. Of course, uh, in those days, Kumar, no, unlike now. Actually, the gates were wide open all the time. Okay. So, uh, except when the big matches happen, you know, then they used to close it because the trucks used to come into school. Of course, much. But the boys still jump anyway. To be much to our delight. Yeah. But um, the, normally the gates used to be open, and of course, when we used to be outside, the principal sometimes comes out of the, the you know the middle gate yes, and yes, then yes, comes yes. Uh, comes in from the other gate. Then you get caught red-handed. You don't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, did music begin in your life at Visaka Vidyalaya? Well, I no, not really. But it, it began maybe before I started school, or the same time that maybe I started school. But uh, not, I wouldn't say at Visaka Vidyalaya. But we did have a choir and an orchestra at Visaka Vidyalaya. Yes. We had the Russian Cultural Centre in Colombo. Uh, Menaka, what, what would be your best memory in school? We all have nice, nice, pleasant memories. Yes. The best memories, um, well, all the memories in school were nice. I think the special ones were when I used to play in the band, in the Western band. And uh, we had a lot of fun then. I mean, we used to play for various, you know, events or whatever, this state functions and things like that, you know. And we used to get to go out and... Loaf. Uh, yes, and it I was a nice, I very nice I still experience. can't picture you in pigtails and a school uniform. And the Visaka Vidyalaya, the Pahala, some boys. Why? <laughs> Your husband Srila Sahabandu, yes. um, what is it that attracted him to you and you to him? If I'm being personal now. Um, okay, well, reflect. Did he know what he was getting into to have this prima donna soprano <laughs> no. in his life? No, I don't think so because he was very curious to know who this soprano was. Okay. Because um, we were introduced reason. by a. Uh, <laughs> Mutual friend, so yeah. I think uh, he also uh, saw in the papers that you know I was a soprano, so he was wondering now what does this soprano do? Okay. So I don't know. You had to ask him that <laughs> question. <laughs> but um, he definitely he's, uh, he's not a musician or not into music. He's not into music. So how does he tolerate you? I mean, you're there all around him. You're playing, you're singing, your yeah. daughter is playing. Yeah. It's all there. Yeah, yeah. No, no. He, he, he likes. He, he. Um, I mean, uh, he uh, encourages a lot, and even he always makes it a point to come for my performances. I see him now. My all. daughter also, because now she's also, you know, into music and. So is your husband unhappy that your daughter has taken to music and not to engineering because he is an engineer? No. Well, I don't know whether she would take 20. Then she's only, only in school. All yeah, she's this only, year. yeah, she's going to do her all levels. So you're a Visakhin and, and your daughter goes to ladies' college? Yes. Your brother uh, also played or plays in the symphony orchestra? No, brother doesn't play in the symphony orchestra. He right, used so to play the piano and the violin. Okay, and why did he give up? No, I think he thought one person making all this sound at home is enough, I think. Menaka, your neighbours at uh, Ward Place yes. in Kalambu 7, one of them was my classmate Afam Kasim, other yes. than, of course is Jit Pires. Yes. You, when you left the neighbourhood and got married and went off, they, they were so happy because the music stopped. No music And then you came stop. back again, like a bad smell, and this neighbourhood has no choice but no, to no, listen no, no, to no, your no, music. No, 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 no. As I, as my, one of my Facebook statuses said, my neighbors listen saying it. You are saying it. to your very good music, whether they like it or not. Have they ever complained, your neighbors? No, they don't complain. Why should they complain? They are hearing arias from morning till evening. I suppose so. I suppose so. If there's any, um, any concert hall yes. in the world you'd like to go and perform, what and where would that be? Wow. I would like to maybe perform um, in a 
in a concert hall in Italy. What's your La dream? Scala in Milan. Well, that's, uh, I mean, I, I don't, I mean, it's something uh, really fabulous. It is. You were also Carlotta in uh, the workshop plays production of uh, The Phantom. Yes. How was that character? What do you like about it? It was, it was very you, very eccentric and very... Very you? <laughs> Yes, and no, very, I'm not very eccentric. You. I'm not eccentric, Kuma. Not at all. Yes, Carlotta was a very yes. She was an. I think she was on her way out in the sense she was an aging, aged um, singer, and she didn't like um, anybody young coming in. So it's really not me at all because I'm always encouraging the young people to come up. Menaka, you like to luxuriate in bathtubs, do you? In little jacuzzis and bathtubs. Are you trying to do a street day? No. Yes. Well, who told you that? I do my homework. Yeah. Well, when we, when we go, yes, um, I, I like to, uh, you know, use the bathtub. The way the bathtub should be used, yes. But I was, never um, when I used to go, uh, when we used to go out, you know, out of Colombo for my performances, you know, very often the students who share the room with me, they, they get very nervous, you know, they think I'm going to be drowning in the bathtub or something so, like that. So, on that note of Medaka Di Fonseca not drowning in the bathtub, we bring sequence uh, X to a close. Uh, this is Anything But with Kumar Silva and my guest Medaka, sponsored by LICC Jeans. We're here at the Russian Cultural Center. Catch you soon. More nice stuff with Medaka. So, see you around from the show.